Hey, Matt Morris here. Welcome to the Unemployed Millionaire Show. I am uh, actually coming to you with the first episode of what we're calling Ask Me Anything TV. And so here's the thing I've had, you know, over the years, about 114,000 subscribers to our database and always having people email in different questions and things like that. And so um, since there's no, I just don't have the bandwidth to personally reply to everyone, I thought what we'd do is I'd take some of the questions that, uh, you know, I can answer effectively for you guys and we would just answer them here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and answer our first question. So here we go. Uh, this question comes from Elena actually in Greece and Elena asks, she says, I'm new to network marketing and my first two prospects totally shot me down. I was so let down and now I'm having a hard time showing my business to anyone else out of fear. How do I deal with fear of rejection? So I can answer in this one uh, because I definitely have a major personal uh, story and history with this. In fact, the number one fear in the world is the fear of rejection. People always say it's the fear of public speaking, but in reality, public speaking is just the fear of being rejected publicly. So number one fear in the world is that. And so here's the thing. I think it's um, having an overall philosophy or an overall attitude towards the people that you're showing it to. If you come with the mindset of, you know what, I've got to get this person enrolled or I really want to get this person in my business, what happens is um, you have all of this um, expectations towards what's going to happen. You know, you really want to get them in. And so here's the attitude to have is number one, realizing that your job, when you're exposing someone to your network marketing opportunity, your job is not to enroll someone. It's really to do two things. Your job is to expose them, to have them see it and have them understand it. And that's it. Uh, they're going to make the decision on their own. You're obviously going to ask them to join, but it's going to be up to them to join. And so it kind of like being a waiter. See, I was a waiter years ago and when I would wait on a table I'd serve someone their dinner and afterwards I would come and I'd say hey would you guys like some dessert and so if they said no I don't want dessert did I get upset did I go in the back and oh my god I can't believe they don't want dessert not at all they just didn't want dessert and I didn't go in the back and go you know this restaurant thing it just doesn't work Desserts are a scam. I didn't say any of that. Obviously, that would be ridiculous. And so here's the attitude that you've got to have. You've got to look at your opportunity as dessert for life. Does everyone want dessert for life? Well, no, they don't actually. And so I know in your mind, you're probably thinking everyone should do this, but everyone's just not going to do this. And so some people want dessert. Some people don't want dessert. Either way, here's the deal. There's another table that you're going to talk to next. They may want dessert. So you just have to show it to them. And so here's the thing. The attitude I think that you need to have is just posturing up. It's saying, you know what? If they join, great. If they don't join, that's great too. It's disassociating yourself from the result. If you disassociate yourself from the results, you don't have the fear of rejection. And I'm going to give you a quick strategy here on how you can eliminate the rejection just by what you say when you set up your opportunity. And so if maybe you're showing a video presentation or maybe you're about to go through, you know, a PowerPoint or whatever it is, however it is that you expose your opportunity, um, set it up this way. And, and here's how I personally would set it up is letting them know, listen, I think you're going to see this. I think it's going to make total sense for you. And I think you'll be excited, but listen, makes no difference to me either way. I just wanted to give you the opportunity to see it and see what you're doing in that case is you're letting them know you're doing them a favor. They're not doing you a favor. So here, here's the attitude to have. It's not being needy with your prospects. The fear in many cases comes from the neediness. And so your prospect will smell neediness like a dog smells fear. And I'm going to give you something that was so true for me. I used to be so pent up with, you know, just fear. It was gripping me. I had a hard time doing it. When I finally said, you know what, I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to go show it. I'm going to sort versus sell. A mentor of mine told me years ago, he said, professional sort, amateur set, sell. Your job is to sort through and look for the people who are looking. And here's the attitude. When you stop being afraid of people saying no, they start saying yes. So, Get rid of the neediness, show it to more people, and everything will work out for you. So, uh, Elena, I appreciate your comments, uh, your question. Thanks for uh, sending that in. Pay attention. Watch your email. I'm going to send you out a digital version of my four-CD set, Abundance for Life. 
And so now for everyone else, I wanna hear from you. So join the conversation below, send us a comment, any additional insights or any feedback that you might have for Elena, go ahead and fill that in on the comments below. And if you have a question, maybe that can answer for you, shoot me an over an email at askmatt at mattmorris.com and I will do my best to answer you right here. So hope you enjoyed the episode. Be sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and feel free to share this with your friends on Facebook for some additional insights and strategies that I only share by email. Make sure you are subscribed over at mattmorris.com. So thanks for listening in and as always, make life an adventure.